spirit kills, he waits. From acclaimed writer and producer Stephen J. Campbell, Serena Vincent stars in He Waits. We are talking It Waits from 2005, and this is directed by Stephen R. Monroe, who directed a couple of the I Spit on Your Grave remake uh, movies. And this one stars uh, Serena Vincent, who you may know from the comedy movie Not Another Teen Movie, uh, where she played Ariola, who was the kind of perpetually naked foreign exchange student. I think she was in the cab one of the Cabin Fever movies as well. And um, this is kind of essentially a monster on the loose movie. It's actually very similar to another film that I saw that came out some years after this one called Animal from 2014. This one obviously came out before that. It has been likened to Jeepers Creepers because the creature in this is a kind of a, a humanoid winged bestial kind of creature. Looks a little bit like the, um, the Creeper from Jeepers Creeper, but I've got to say uh, the movie's quite different really. Um, Apparently there was a lot of production kind of woes with this movie leading up to its initial kind of uh, production. Uh, originally it was, it actually had some kind of quite high profile names uh, attached behind the camera, but ultimately it was made as a straight to DVD movie. Anyway, what is the story? Well, it focuses on this, um, this female kind of forest ranger. Uh, she's kind of uh, out in the middle of nowhere, trying to kind of forget her past she was involved in a drink driving accident. So she's now working as a kind of forest ranger where she doesn't have to be around people. Uh, she does have a kind of a boyfriend who is also a kind of a forest ranger. And um, there seems to be some type of creature on the loose that has come from this kind of cave system. And it's this kind of ancient demon creature uh, that looks a little bit like a kind of a gargoyle, really, that was kind of set loose by uh, some students some uh, some months before. So it's essentially a test of survival where uh, this our, our kind of female protagonist is put against this creature, uh, along with a kind of a few other kind of characters that we kind of meet along the way. What will happen? Well, you have to watch the movie and find out. So let's discuss what I think works in this movie. Let's talk about the creature first of all. I thought this was a pretty decent looking monster. Um, apparently it was kind of modeled after some type of uh, mythical bird, but I gotta say it looks pretty good. It reminds me actually a little bit of the darkness from the Legend movie with Tom Cruise. It's a little bit like that, not exactly, but it does remind me that kind of leathery kind of demon look. I thought it was pretty good. And it is a winged demon, so we do see it kind of fly around. I mean, this is a 2005 movie, so it's obviously got CGI from the era. But I didn't think it was too bad, and the actual practical effect of the actual monster is pretty good. And the monster it has an interesting, if somewhat kind of illogical MO, which we'll talk about. But it's kind of, it not only just wants to kill you, but it kind of wants to toy with you and kind of talk to you as well to a certain degree which makes for some um, somewhat kind of gory, gory kind of set pieces and things like that. And some, you know, it kind of displays kind of bodies in a particular kind of like uh, way and stuff like that. So it gives it this kind of somewhat of a more of an intelligence to, to a degree. Um, it can't communicate or anything like that, but it certainly is able to, you know, display bodies and have some type of uh, intelligence at least. So I kind of quite like the, the actual creature itself. I think for the most part, outside of a couple of small characters, the acting was all pretty good. I actually really enjoyed the um, the interplay between our kind of our primary kind of protagonist and her boyfriend, this other park ranger. I actually thought they had some good chemistry and, and their kind of interactions seemed kind of quite naturalistic. I have to say, uh, we don't get a huge amount of them on screen together, um, but I have to say, I, I thought the acting was all was all pretty good. And there are there are some kind of like. Uh, other roles, which I thought were, were all okay, but there's a, one or two that I think was slightly kind of overacted, but there you go. The story is relatively slight, but it's a nice kind of monster on the loose, easy to follow kind of movie. It's not trying to be anything too kind of like complex. I actually thought it was okay um, in regards to, a, you know, a somewhat kind of stripped down story, but you know, it can't, they can't all be kind of complex ones, I suppose. Um, obviously it makes use of the 
uh, outdoor environment here, having the all the uh, little set in this kind of forestry area. We do get a few internal shots of the uh, ranger's cabin and things like that, but you make good use of the kind of the natural environment. I think on a technical level, um, it's all pretty kind of proficient in regards to its kind of uh, cinematography, its kind of its sound design, things like that, editing. It's all to a pretty good standard, if I'm completely honest. So. Can I say anything negative about this movie? Uh, a couple of things. Um, there are a couple of instances here where this movie gets way too mad, way too over melodramatic. Uh, it does it twice, I would say. Um, and we, the, particularly in the beginning, the kind of the first act of the movie where we're kind of getting our backstory. Man, it really kind of hams up. It's really kind of quite cheesy with this kind of overly kind of melodramatic sequence. I won't say what happened exactly. But yeah, it's a little bit on the kind of the cheesy side. It does it once again uh, later on in the movie. So yeah, it's a little bit kind of cheesy at times. As I've mentioned, there are one or two kind of characters that I feel um, were a little bit kind of goofy and a little bit kind of cartoonish. Um, our creature itself, even though we're meant to believe this is an ancient demon, it still knows to kind of like take batteries out of the car and destroy satellite dishes and kind of like uh, things like this. No... There's no reason why this kind of uh, creature would know anything about technology. Get it kind of, it completely kind of wrecks every type of uh, communication or vehicle that the uh, any uh, our protagonists will come across. That seems pretty pretty weird to me. The movie also has the the creature acting in somewhat of an illogical manner. Whilst it straight up kills uh, kind of smaller supporting characters, it seems to want to play and uh, torture. Uh, psychologically torture our main character for no other reason than she's the main character and it kind of it, it, we need to have these confrontations where ultimately the creature still lives and the and our protagonist still lives and um, yeah it doesn't really make a lot of sense why it's doing that and then the other thing the last thing I would say is we get a, a horribly uh, obvious exposition guy that just pops up in one scene uh, in the third act, beginning of the third act, to basically give a huge exposition dump uh, to our kind of our main sort of character here. It's really clumsily handled. Um, yeah, it's just it's just really bad. And I guess basically any other thing is that there are kind of a few dumb decisions here. Let's split up when we know there's some type of. Uh, you know, creature on the loose and things like this. So it ends up being a little bit silly and kind of hokey at kind of times. Um, but, you know, overall, I still got to say, I think this is somewhat of a, uh, an enjoyable movie. It's very much like the 2014 movie uh, Animal, if you've seen that. Although, obviously, that one came out a lot long time after this one. It's an enjoyable movie. Uh, I don't think it's a classic by any, any stretch of the imagination. It's not tr it doesn't kind of reinvent the wheel in any way. But it's an enjoyable, well put together movie with a decent kind of like uh, monster, a likeable kind of lead actress, uh, reasonable acting and, and fairly good production monies. Yes, there's some elements that I think uh, take this down a notch or two, but overall I do say it's probably an above average um, kind of creature feature. So I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.